this monster sushi roll challenge has been failed over 300 times. Oh, in Sa- San Diego? Near San Diego? Uh, yeah, San Diego. It's definitely in California. Yeah, uh, that's that's actually a really cool one, man. Like the, the video kind of was lame because there was nobody really in the restaurant, which always means it's it's going to be less fun. But you, like sometimes I've said it before, you can't you can't help that because especially if you're not part of like a big TV production or something, you you don't the restaurant don't want to be serving you something which takes a lot of time to make at peak hours when people are going to be there. So the actual video itself is not very good, but the, uh, the challenge is cool. It's just like a big uh, sushi roll. It's got cream cheese and salmon in there. So which, six pounds of sushi. Yeah, it's because it's so, you know, like sushi is actually pretty dense. Like yeah. when you fully when you pack it. you look at that, it looks pretty easy that. Yeah. Like, you start chowing it, I'm like, oh. It's also like the amount of cream cheese and that's daft. It must have about three pounds of cream cheese in it. Imagine eating like that pure out of the, but it, it tasted really good. And uh, the guy that was really friendly as well, um, the, the dude that uh, was working there and, uh, I just look like anything that's different and I've never really done sushi in a restaurant. There aren't really any sushi challenges in restaurants. There aren't many, well, certainly aren't any in England um, and there aren't that many like throughout the world, but that was, uh, that's a really cool one because it just looks, I think they call it the Godzilla roll or something like that. Um, it just looks cool as well. And um, yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was a good one. I think I did that maybe the day after or the day before I did that uh, fish and chips thing. It was a fish and chips place in San Diego of all places because I made a gag and I like, drove, uh, I traveled 5,000 miles to eat fish and chips. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was a, that was a cool one. Well, if you got to do a difficulty rating, how hard is the first one? What was the first one? First um, one was Donner. Donner Kebab. Donner Kebab. Ooh, I don't think you get, I can't remember what the time limit was on that one. What you actually get to do it. I want to say maybe it was 45 minutes. Uh, that's not, maybe like- 40 minutes, yeah. How many, we, what, uh, what 10 do we say? <laughs> Fucking shit. 10, we said yeah. 10, didn't we? Uh, for, uh, <laughs> what felt it's, it's hard though because like for a regular person not going to do it right. so like it'd be 10 with it but like for someone like me I guess maybe that's like five so that was not for me to do it that quickly took a bit of effort but like there was no no danger of me losing and Dick's wiener six bigger but uh also more variety and uh, <laughs> big Dick's wiener and uh yeah it's just a, it's, uh, the food was really good but but it was bigger so yeah, and the God- Godzilla roll I don't think you have much time with that. I think I'll, 15 minutes. Yeah. Eight. Oh, eight beards. You gotta like, cause like sushi is one of those things that can really get stuck in as well. If you want, if you're eating cold rice, motherfucker, you better have water with you because there's a chance of death. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, the closest I've ever been to like choking is with cold rice usually. Yeah. yeah. Cold, Especially sticky, that sticky yeah, kind of like yeah. sushi rice. Ugh. Cause it just doesn't move. Like it just sticks in you and your body, your body just can't move it. You must've felt rough after that. I felt actually all right. I didn't feel bad after it because it's, I mean, it's rice and cream cheese and fish. It's not exactly unhealthy. You know what I mean? Like it's- I'd throw up at that. I think, uh, yeah, that's not my cup of tea, that. Oh, I think it was, it was, I didn't, none of those made me feel bad. The, the burger heart attack grill, that made me feel, <laughs> made me feel bad. That was, I thought- well, it was because of how greasy it was. I, you know, I- you I know, bet Nurse Ricky made you feel better though. Uh, yeah, because she was a very attentive server, uh, very, very, uh, very polite, and you know, uh, happy to have me film and everything. So she, certainly, yeah. But um, the, the, I was always suspicious of the fact that it was twenty. I realized this is not part of the rewind, but I was always <laughs> suspicious of the fact that it was twenty thousand calories because it's it's in Guinness World Records and everything. I'm like, come on, man! How like some of the how can you even? I know how you can measure it, but it, it just can't be even if it's cooked in deep fried in lard, right? And I remember driving back and just being so hot. It wasn't even like a hot day, man. Yeah. It was, when did I go there? Like January. It was, but I was just fucking roasting. You know, when your body, like your body elevates because it wants to maintain homeostasis. So it's like, if you overeat, it will try to lose energy. It's heat energy, right? But I was so hot. I was sweating, man. I just, my vision was like really blurry. And I'm like, this, these are all kind of knock on effects of having consumed so many calories in such a short period of time. Oof. But I'm, I felt so ropey after that, man, just because it was pure, you know, the salt and the amount of grease and stuff. Like, it tasted good. Everyone said that that burger blood, tastes bad. Blood pressure bad, is 200 over 120. It's like that probably on a normal <laughs> day, mate. So, um, but yeah, anyway, sidetrack there. But yeah, that was a, they were all really cool ones, man. Well, well chosen, George. Oh, well done, George. A little compliment for you there. <laughs>